the most important part of the management of type 2 diabetes is a blood glucose monitor. Emma is here today with us and is the clinical manager of Health Bank to explain how is the most advanced way to monitor the blood glucose in patients with diabetes. So Emma, which device are you going to show us? Okay, so we have um, a few devices here. So traditionally, uh, patients may already have uh, some form of device in the home. Um, and generally, it's the same setup really as this kit, where you will get your testing strips, you will get the pen, which the needles are put in to take the sample, and then the reader. Now, these, these machines um, do store the data. So within the, within the device itself, it will store the data of the blood sugar monitoring um, and often it can be linked to an application on a phone. Um, here at Health Bank we're doing it a little bit different and I think that uh, you know innovation wise we took it a step further. So it's still the same principle with the, the um, monitoring we're using. It's the same principle with the strips and the monitor and uh, the pens. The difference being that this data would be transmitted direct uh, to the nurse uh, in the command centre where we actually will receive it in real time um, and analyse the data. And I think that's a critical part of the monitoring is, yes, the patient may be able to take their blood sugars themselves, but may not know how to interpret them. And also, if we had a critically high or a critically uh, low data, we would be alerted immediately, which means that we would then be able to alert uh, the caregiver of that patient, whether it be one of our nurses or maybe they have their own caregiver within the home or a family member. So this really, uh, you know, for a lot of patients it is life changing. It's not just receiving the data but it's analysing that data and then responding when the data uh, may be putting the patient at harm. This can also be managed, um, you know, the data we also directly will call their physician uh, if they uh, require the information. So we can immediately respond uh, to any problems with the blood sugar. And um, which device have you got there, Dr Donatello? Is this one of the the more advanced ones? Yes, this is actually a continuous glucose monitor. So patients uh, may have different level of uh, diabetes. Some patients uh, treat diabetes just with diet, other with tablet. But uh, when uh, they need to treat diabetes with the insulin and multiple daily injection of insulin, they really need to know how is the blood glucose almost all the time. And it can be really painful to check the blood sugar six, eight times a day. So there are nowadays different uh, devices uh, that can go from uh, flash uh, uh, monitor, uh, where there are some sensors that uh, anytime you uh, want to know the results, will be able to give you the blood glucose in real time, and other that are called continuous glucose monitor. Um, this is uh, one of them. This is from Medtronic, but there are many other available. And uh, this is uh, called uh, Guardian Connect. And in few words, it uh, works in this way. So you have a small sensor. Uh, usually you have a, a transmitter that uh, I don't have it right now, but the sensor is connected to the transmitter. And then when they are both together, they are inserted in this other device that uh, can easily apply in different parts of the body just with a simple click. Uh, can be the arm, can be the stomach. The, um, it is very, very easy to, to use and the data, so the blood glucose, is continuously transmitted to an application in your phone. So the patient knows all the time how is the blood glucose. Of course, there are uh, more or less sophisticated. Someone can alarm when the blood sugar go down during the night, especially good for children and their family. So, uh, as you can see, there is a quite a, a large range of meter that can uh, help a patient to manage their diabetes. So, we have uh, seen a few of these uh, uh, glucometer available in the market, and of course, it will be your specialist, your physician, who will advise what is the best to use for your condition. 
So for now is all and uh, I'll see you on the next episode.